But, you know, what I really do hope is that uh, though the number of people who can actually, you know, make this work is very, very small, I hope that while we are having the, the discussion about these men going to these other countries, that there are some, um, that people are, people with power are paying attention. People with power are paying attention. That was uh, a lot of P's, plosives there. And so that um, we might need to be making some legislation to create some protections for the women who are brought here by the passport bros, actually. Hey, what's going on, good people? In this video, we're going to be doing a reaction to this young lady here who's called Fort Harriet. She has some things to say regarding Passport Bros. And so, you know, we definitely going to get into it and break it down. But before we do, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment down below. Like the video. I'm not going to waste your time. Let's get right into it. I don't feel any particularly strong feelings about this movement because we've all decided that these are not people that we want you know my concern is not about men deciding that they want to enter and participate in a different kind of marriage market the concern mainly is about men deciding that before they get their passports buy their flights and exit the united states to get a a woman who will accept them will say that they are trafficking in the oldest, nasty, most virulent tropes about black women and uh, spreading them. And that those talking points about about black women are being further normalized. And I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to try not to do too much stopping. But this is a commentary channel and I do reactions here. And you also have to speak over the video to avoid copyrights, guys. So try to bear with me. It's funny to me how black women are always trying to tell men what to do. You know what I mean? Oh, y'all can go over there and date. Y'all can go overseas, do y'all thing. But don't be talking about us on y'all way out the door. Like y'all been talking about us for the last 70 years. We can say what we want to say. Men can say and do what we want to do. Just like we doing anyway. What I think is is so interesting about the passport bros is one most black people like two thirds to three quarters of black people don't have a passport have never been out of the country and okay beyond don't have a passport have never been out of the country can't really afford to uh take care of a stay at home person like you can't you don't have it you know and this is her attempt of calling black men broke again, but we can't talk about them as we leave the country. You see how this goes? She's actually wrong about that. A man over here making 30000 or maybe twenty, or maybe even $20,000 a year, he can up and go over there and provide, provide for a wife or a spouse because it takes less money to live on in those countries. The grocery is not as high. The gasoline is not as high. A lot of these countries, you don't necessarily need a car. The food and restaurant date nights are cheaper at restaurants. So I think this man can provide for a living girlfriend or stay at home wife. That's false. That is not true. People are internalizing these ideas and not necessarily connecting these ideas to hashtag passport bros, but connecting these ideas explicitly to how loud, ratchet, ghetto, masculine black women are. And that stuff extends beyond interpersonal relationships. That stuff is not about, oh, they don't want to marry me or date me. When we see the repetition, the spread, the reiteration time and time again of this stuff about black women, my concern is not, oh, don't go, please go. Okay, <laughs> leave us out of it. My concern is more shit thrown onto the backs of black women who are already contending with so much shit. So now she wanna pull the victim card. A huge proportion of people who are seriously disaffected are men. Most people in prison are men. Most people who are uh, on the street are men. Most victims of violent crime are men. Most people who commit are men. Uh, most men most people who die in wars are men. 
people who do worse in school are men. It's like, where's the dominance here precisely? Well, you know, what I really do hope is that uh, though the number of people who can actually, you know, make this work is very, very small, I hope that while we are having the, the discussion about these men going to these other countries, that there are some, um, that people are, people with power are paying attention. People with power are paying attention. That was uh, a lot of P's, plosives there. And so that um, we might need to be making some legislation to create some protections for the women who are brought here by the passport bros, actually. Did she just slip something in there and say something about getting the government involved in this? Because these men are getting their passports, leaving the country, looking to date overseas. They're breaking no laws by doing this. And this is something that white men have done for centuries. But all of a sudden now, there need to be some type of Congress bill to protect the women that men are possibly bringing back over here. Now these women care about the foreign women that men decide to bring back. And I think all men at this point have know now to not bring them back. But feminist women now want to protect those women who come back over here with the... It's, it's, you really can't make this stuff up. These women are a mess. Now these women want to put the police on black men. You see what I'm saying? And they got the nerve to tell us that we can't even talk about them as we leave. But they want to put the police on us and get us locked up. Yeah. This, you can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. Because um, genuine love and connection, okay, whatever. But truly, the reason why the this is becoming so popular, this idea and ideology are becoming so popular because men see this as an avenue for them to be able to reclaim their rightful power within the home. The passport bros, this entire thing does not work without grossly inequitable home lives. If those women had leverage, if they had power, they would not be desirable. And what we know and have known historically is that when there is gross inequity in a home, when one partner has all of the power, all of the options, pays all of the bills, the other partner gets disempowered and sometimes it works for a time. But what happens when you're unhappy? How do you negotiate? What happens if there's abuse? What do you do? Where do you go? These women really do hate and try to destroy anything they can't control. It's the ultimate black girl tragedy. But that's all I got in this video. I could not really listen to her anymore. Um, you guys make sure you like the video and definitely drop a comment down below. I would love to hear what you think about this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.